when I was a kid, I chased films and TV shows that better helped me understand what it was like to be an adult with grown up emotions, because I think we all, even when we were young, we're just trying to get to that point. We, we wanted to be taken seriously. And what's special about watching a series like this is that as an adult and a parent now, it better helps me understand what today's youth may be going through emotionally and how important it is to have an active dialogue with our kids because there's often a disconnect or a struggle there. And your character, for instance, is trying to find a way to get through to Mickey as his aunt. Did, did this series in all its wisdom about the disconnect and struggle between one generation to understand the other give you more understanding? Do you, do you feel like this is true with this experience? You know, I don't know if it affected me in that way because, so I have a 15 year old daughter mm -hmm. And, you know, we have really prided ourselves on being very open and communicative with her through her whole life. And I think that I have seen the benefits of that. So I think what was interesting was to then be on a show and portray a character and be surrounded by characters that didn't communicate and that instead hid things. Mm. Uh, you saw the effect that it had on not only that one person, but a lot of people, right? So yeah. I love that that is something that is touched on for sure on this show. It, I think for me, it was more like, I was able to like give myself a pat on the back and go, okay, see, so when people said we were talking to our daughter about some things that were far too adult, it's actually was okay. Cause mm -hmm. kids want to be treated like not like their children, they don't know what they're doing and they're not making good decisions. They want to be treated like people that you would want to hang out with. And, and, and so I do love that you saw that in the show because I do think that is a really wonderful underlying other story. There's so many stories on this show. And so that that came out and bubbled to the surface is great. Yeah, yeah. By the way, I love your character's introduction in this <laughs> one line in specifically about a certain region being in in a vice it was very quinn or dana like if if i ever heard a line um yes yeah um yeah. by the way it, it, is, is your character going to have like a really fun t-shirt journey because i love that she's wearing a whole t-shirt I love it. Yeah, well, because you know, she's back living in her ha home where she grew up. So yeah. it's like she's wearing all of her old clothes, which I was thought was such a wonderful story point because she's just diving in, you know, mm -hmm. instead of like ignoring all that stuff and being like, oh, I would never. Why? Why is they keep all this stuff? Or, you know, I kind of love that. She's just like, whatever. I just got to dive in. Um, she does have an interesting T-shirt journey. I think I'm trying to think of the other ones, but yeah, it is like she's being immersed back in her childhood that she kind of, you know, left. And now she's facing it again with somebody of the same age that she was and that her brothers were in that house. And so it's kind of like being able to rectify some of her mistakes with her brother and her family with yeah. now a new family member is kind of interesting in that, you know, in your home that you grew up in it's it's a little there's a lot of emotions all over the place yeah i love what you said about going through uh old stuff if i may ask what kind of stuff was on your wall as a kid that kind of showed who you were i was obsessed with uh michael jackson and uh david bowie so it was yeah. like my all my walls were covered in michael jackson posters and david bowie uh posters which i don't know what that says about me but i definitely had an eclectic taste in music that was for sure and it was very colorful i had a bed that was a rainbow my whole bed was a rainbow it was a, a it was a u-shaped bed like this mm -hmm. and the mattress was green and then it had six pillows along the side and they were red and orange and yellow and blue red yellow orange yellow uh, maybe there wasn't a purple, I don't think. But anyway, so it was just like, I feel like if you walked into my room as a kid, it was just felt like I was just an explosion of <laughs> eccentricity. 
Yeah. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs>